because uh, their story of the day, uh, another one, uh, are plans to slash energy bills and to make homes more energy efficient. They're being unveiled by the government a bit later on uh, this, this Monday. Yes, the Energy Minister, Lord Cannanan, joins us now from Westminster. Good morning to you. Thank morning. you for joining us this morning. I mean, the issue with this is, isn't it, that people urgently need help with their energy bills this year. Struggling households uh, are finding it tough to heat their homes at the moment. So what would you say to those people who are saying, well, it's all very well, you coming up with these schemes that are going to help us further down the line, but we need to pay to, to heat our home now? Well, we're already spending six and a half billion over this parliament. And the announcement today is that spending will continue from uh, 2025. But we have a number of schemes to help people, firstly, to insulate their homes, the eco scheme, the Great British Insulation Scheme. Uh, to those who are struggling, last winter, of course, when energy bills were very high, we paid about half of everybody's energy bills. Um, now we have uh, you know, the £150 warm homes discount, which goes to uh, the poorest families on benefits, plus the winter fuel uh, allowance. So there is a considerable amount of uh, support and help already out there. But, mm. of course, I entirely accept that yes. uh, for many people that's not enough because uh, energy bills are, uh, are a very difficult thing for most families at the moment. Yeah. But with respect, you're not going to be here in 2025, are you? Well, I listened to your uh, previous uh, introduction with Andrew and Kevin. Let's wait and see. It's an election. The great thing about uh, politics is how much things change. I think, uh, you know, the government is turning the economy round. Uh, inflation has uh, halved. Um, I think people will start to feel better off next year as, as interest rates start to come down. Well, and, latest uh, growth you know, figures weren't very the good, though, are are not they? inspiring anybody. Latest Let's growth figures see. weren't good, though, so it's not looking great from that perspective. How worried are you about unity in the party? Because that was the other thing that we were talking about. You know, disunited governments lose elections, don't they? Uh, it doesn't look good, but of course, you know, there's a lot of uh, robust debate actually in both parties about the the right way to tackle uh, Ill illegal immigration, the right way to stop the boats, uh, etc. And uh, you know, so I hope my colleagues will will pull together, back the prime minister's plan, because uh, we are going as far as we possibly can. This is the toughest uh, uh, set of measures that have ever been introduced to, to parliament, and this is a problem that we need to stop. We need to deal with and show people that we are we are solving for them. You're right. Anything can happen. We know that, but, I mean, you must be tidying your desk, mustn't you? Uh, no, I'm getting on with delivering. Uh, um, we're, as I said, spending six and a half billion on energy uh, insulation measures over this parliament, and uh, we're announcing the money that we're spending in next so that yeah. uh, suppliers and others can gear up the supply chains, ready to carry on some of the excellent work that we have been doing. Well, I bet you and your, you and your colleagues have got Plan Bs in full operation now, haven't you? I mean, you must be planning on what you're going to do when you lose. No, no, I'm very much looking forward to getting on with the job. <laughs> uh, if I can pick up on something that you were mentioning there about, you know, tackling um, immigration. We saw the Prime Minister, of course, didn't we, in Italy, and he was speaking out about this. And we've, we've sort of had this change in rhetoric from him. He talked about, you know, enemies deliberately driving people to our shores to try to destabilise our society. How, how worried are you about sort of, you know, the phrasing of this, what this looks like, what this says to people? Because this is another thing, isn't it, that's going to cause disunity within the party, this kind of language? I think what, it, what the Prime Minister was talking about was the um, weaponization of, of migration in many other European countries. So you can see it in Finland, you can see it in, uh, in Belarus, etc. And there's a warning there for us that we need to get uh, immigration under control. We need to stop the horrible trade of people smuggling uh, across the, the channel. And the legislation that we've introduced is the best way to do that. When, as, as seems incredibly likely, you're in opposition, um, who do you think would make the best... I don't think we are going to be in opposition. Well, OK, but, but OK, you'll accept that it's, it's, it's a reasonable possibility. Um, who, who do you think would make the best leader of the Conservative Party? Because clearly it couldn't be Rishi Sunak. He'd have to go, uh, having lost the election. Who do you think would be a good leader? Well, let's wait and see what happens in the uh, in the election. I, you know, I'm very confident. I think we've got a good track record. I think we're delivering. Uh, policies like that we're announcing this morning is part of our long-term plan to uh, to ensure the stability of the country, to advance our economic prosperity, yeah. to show that we've got inflation under control, to show that uh, migration is, is coming down. These are all the factors that people will judge on at the next election. Would you they will them, compare you, the plans you... that we have with those of Labour who are offering us an vacuous slate with an uncharismatic leader at the moment. And I'm very confident in the, okay. uh, the British people who will take the, 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 the right decision when the time comes comes to it. Very briefly, would you, would you welcome Boris back? 
Would you welcome Suella Braverman back? Would you, would you, would you welcome Mr Farage back I, into the, into the I, party? I think, I think we have an excellent Prime Minister as it is who's getting on with the job. OK. okay. If we can talk to matters, there have been a lot of talk about this over the weekend, the interview with Baroness Moan and her husband and the situation there with the procurement contracts for PPE, mm. exactly what was going on. A lot of questions. But one thing I wanted to ask you about as a member of the House of Lords, she has said that you know, people knew about this, so she didn't feel that she needed to declare it. Can you clear up for us then the responsibility as a member of the House of Lords over declaring interests? Um, well, I obviously can't comment on the details of her case because it's, uh, it's ongoing legal proceedings. But uh, in general, she's she's wrong. You know, it's your own personal responsibility to declare your financial interests and to and there is an office in the House of Lords that you can go to who will provide you with all of the advice on what you need to declare and what your responsibilities are. It's nobody else's responsibility but your okay. own. Do you think that she should consider her position in the House of Lords then? I think she's, uh, she's already taking leave, leave of absence. Um, but let's wait and see what happens with the, the various court proceedings. OK, wait and see, I think, is the mantra that we're getting today. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you. What do you reckon, guys? Well, it's quite clear, isn't it, your Baroness Moan? It is so obvious, she, just because everybody knew... Nobody, no, we didn't know. You declare your financial links. That is a major breach of her role as a member of the House yeah. of Lords. Of course, be out. Yeah, and Martin, Lord Cullinan, he won't have a vote at the general election because he's a peer. He'll just get his £342 a day. <laughs> He'll continue picking well, no, that. He, but, he, but, he, but he knows, he knows that he's getting <laughs> done in, doesn't he? I mean, he was smiling at it. Yeah, he was at he knows, But he's got, to, he's got to maintain the line. Of course he does, yeah. yeah. We, we, we appreciate that. Thank we you both for joining us Great this see morning. You.